YouTuber Alex and Emily from We've Got Ears, and today we're going to show you how to make an allergy-friendly vegan holiday nog drink. So Alex, tell me, as a person who is allergic to everything, milk, eggs, gluten, how am I going to drink an eggnog this Christmas? Make it happen. I can do that for you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> We're going to be doing an all-in-one easy blender cocktail. Easier, equal, better. Right. All in one. Right here, I have a one cup of uh, extra creamy oat milk. Pour that right in. Could I use soy milk or coconut milk? Depending uh, on my preference. Absolutely. Uh, even if you're up for it, you could use cow milk. Whatever you want. <sighs> it won't be vegan though, just so you know. <laughs> just kidding. Cow milk. I, I just, I'm allergic. Highly allergic, so. Me too. Mm -hmm. Right here, uh, I have a, what I like to call nog spice. What's nog spice? What's in your, what's in your nog spice? <laughs> my nog spice, <laughs> it's just, um, it's going to be ground cinnamon ground uh, nutmeg and ground turmeric, all at measurements of one eighth teaspoon. Okay. The um, nutmeg and the ginger are gonna give you that holiday nog flavor and the turmeric's gonna give it that eggnoggy color. So we're gonna pull okay. all of that right in there. Told you it was easy. In this one, I have something special. This is xanthan gum. And I recognize that because we use that a lot as a replacement for a thickener. Yes. It's, it's gluten-free. Um, we use it a lot in baking. So I'm guessing you're probably using it in this because eggnog is kind of a thicker consistency. Yeah, it's almost like a, it's almost into a, a custard kind of texture. Mm -hmm. So the more of this stuff you add, the thicker it's going to get. Also over time, it's going to get thicker. So be advised. So maybe like mix it and then drink it like pretty soon. Pretty soon. It's yeah. like if you put this in there and, and then you leave it in the fridge overnight, it might get thicker. It might get thicker. Which yeah. could, I don't know, maybe that's a good thing for you. Maybe. Maybe you want to make some kind of special thicker eggnoggy flavor thing. Personal preference, yeah. Personal preference. That goes in there as well. Okay. Okay. Last but not least, maple syrup. Maple syrup is going to be our additive or sweetener. This is a also a no sugar added recipe officially, even though this is pretty sweet. It's a sweetener, but it's a sweetener. Yeah. I mean, okay. So if you don't have maple syrup, could you put sugar? You could put or sugar, simple and syrup, simple syrup. And then I would personally maybe add like a dash of vanilla, mm -hmm. which you could add that to this right now too. I'm going to leave it out this time. That sounds good to me though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, with these ingredients, you just throw this in the blender and then you can serve chilled and you have a non-alcoholic version. We're gonna do the spiced version today with about, this is only for uh, two uh, servings, so I'm gonna do just uh, two uh, shots of this Irish whiskey. Okay, so the drink recipe you're showing is for two drinks. That's right. Okay, so we're using Irish whiskey because that's what we have. It's what we often have because it's our favorite. You can also um, put rum because I think that's what a lot of people put in eggnog, right? Rum. I think so, yeah. Uh, rum, also uh, brandy, maybe cognac, usually um, some darker type of spirits. Those warm, like winter cozy spirits mm -hmm. that you drink by the Yuletide fireside. Give you that warm you feeling know? on the cool nights yeah. or the hot days. <laughs> All right, real easy. Throw this in the blender. <laughs> if you couldn't see, I could see is that it was actually getting very uh, frothy and uh, mm -hmm. um, thicker. Yeah, very nog like. Thicker, frothy, foamy. Let's see what it pours like. All right, you ready? Does it pour like a nog? I'd say so. That's pretty nog like. Got that right there. All right. And now you can 
garnish if you like with a peppermint stick for I the do holidays. Like, you Maybe know a little I nutmeg like. on top, just sprinkle it on there. And you have That's adorable. some great That's warm or cold peppermint stick in here. Holiday art. Also, um, another idea would be to put some uh, whipped cream. So mm. we often use like coconut whipped cream or almond whipped cream. Mm -hmm. So that would be the vegan option. The vegan option and allergy friendly options are out there. Um, They're available. And what's actually something that's great about this nod is that you don't have to wait till the holidays. All of these ingredients are available in your store all year round. That's true because sometimes like you get excited when you start to see it show up on shelves and mm -hmm. like um, I know they do have a packaged soy nog that you yes. can get. Um, probably, I've had it. It's pretty good. Probably a lot of different ones that you can get but it sells out so quick like once it hit the shelves it's it's, it's gone. usually gone yeah. and we're lucky to like maybe get one one of those a year, so. One, and then you go back to the store, you're like, oh, I really wanted more Nog. But now you can have it whenever you want. You can even mix up some of your, uh, pre-mix some Nog spice and keep it in the shelf if you like and have it ready to go. And I also feel like you could really tailor this to your liking because the only thing that you really need, like the base is milk or milk substitute. Mm -hmm. The spices, you know, you have your like, traditional nong spices that we have used but i guess you could kind of just like season to taste right absolutely like i like a lot of cinnamon some people like a lot of nutmeg some people don't maybe even you like some little ginger in there too i like peppermint oh yeah but i mm -hmm. yeah like highly recommend sticking a little peppermint in a little candy cane I, 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 I like, I really like peppermint. Well, maybe we'll do something with peppermint next. Please. So, we made another batch and we tried it with vanilla extract added and I really like it. That, ooh, is that a peppermint? Not anymore. <laughs> All the sugar. Mm. Hmm. Give me some sugar. I should give you some sugar. Mm. 